What's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be going over the eight civilizations in Game of Empires. It's been highly requested for a lot of new players that are joining the game. Um, so we're going to kind of go over the strengths of each one so that you can choose the best civilization for your playstyle. Uh, so here are the eight ones. And um, if you choose one, you end up not liking it. You can always change later in the game at any time just by clicking your profile picture up here and clicking switch at the bottom. Um, now you do need to purchase a civilization pass to do so. So if you go to your Alliance shop in your Alliance inventory, you can purchase one. Um, if your Alliance doesn't have one, you can ask an R4 or the R5 to purchase them and throw them in there for you to get. So what I want to show you first is this page here of goe.fandom.com. And I'll post this link down in the description. Um, but I wanted to go through each civilization that's posted here because it's got a, a lot of really good information. So starting here with um, the archers, you've got the civilization of Britannia and the unique unit are longbowmen archers. Now these archers are good at attack. They have really high attack. They're good at fighting in the wild um, and they're good for pincering. So if you're fighting with allies with you, hitting enemies, you're going to do extra damage there as well. So this is a good choice if you're uh, more of an offensive player, like to go around attacking people in the wild. Really good choice here. Um, Edward is actually a cavalry hero. So it's a little weird that he starts with them, but still a good choice for uh, offensive players. The next archer civilization is uh, China civilization. You start off with Mulan, which is a, a fairly good garrison captain um, for a purple hero. And you get these Chu Ko Nu. And these archers are really good at attacking. They have high attack and they have really good attack damage when they're garrisoned. So this is a really good choice as well. If you're interested in archers. Um, let's go down these. Now these aren't in order. That's the one thing that's not great, but here we go. Uh, the Korean empire, you start with the hero Kim. She's actually a priest hero. But she comes with uh, these unit type of archers. I don't know how to pronounce that. So I'm not going to try, but her archers are uh, really good at defense. And um, they have a lot of damage reduction. So if you want to stay alive longer, you don't like healing as often, and you want a little bit more survivability, this is a great choice if you want to go with archers. All right, so that's it for the the archers. Next, we got infantry. Uh, we got the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, their hero is Herman. He's just kind of an all-around decent, good infantry hero. And they come with the Tectonic Knights. The Tectonic Knights, as you can see, are really good at defense and really good at garrisons. So if you want to be tanky and garrison buildings, this is a great option. Most people, it seems, run cavalry. So if you're garrisoning with these as infantry, you can really hold a garrison well. Next one is the Japanese, and the hero is Nobunaga. Um, he's a really good infantry hero. You can use him really far into the game. Uh, if you're a free-to-play player, you can use him all the way, all the way through. And they come with the ninjas. 
Ninjas are extremely good for attacking. They have really high attack and they're good at attacking in the wild. So if you're more of an offensive player and like to run around just attacking people in the open, this is a good choice for infantry. Uh, the next infantry we have is the Roman. Your hero you start with is Pompey. And the unique unit type is Legionaries. Legionaries are uh, very tanky, like they're strong with very high survivability. They're also really good at rallies. So if you want to be that top player uh, running the rallies for your alliance or server, this is a great option. You can really take out um, cavalry garrisons pretty well with these unit types. Although he is a, Pompey is a archery hero. You can always uh, use different heroes though. And for cavalry, we've got Kingdom of France and the hero is Charles Martel. He's a infantry hero, but like I said, you can always switch that. His special unit types are the Frankish Paladin and they have very high attack and they have very good healing from priests. So if you're one of the players that likes to keep a priest on your marches, this is a great option because they get a lot of healing from them. And the most common cavalry is going to be the Russian Empire, which comes with Ivan. And the unit types are called Kozak. These have really high attack. They have... Uh, they're really good for attacking in the wild and they're fast. They're really fast. This is the fastest unit type in the game. So a lot of people run these. Uh, if you're more so an offensive player that likes to just run around quick, chase people down uh, or attack and, and get back safely, things like that, this is a great option. Um... So when you go to when you go to this on your in your town, the um, your castle, depending on which unit type you have, you'll get these um, unique soldier tech. As you can see, I'm I'm the ninjas for infantry. Um, so you get these little bonuses you can upgrade with research. Like I said earlier, the ninjas have are high attack and good in the wild. So you could see attack 10, only 5% defense and HP, attack in the wild 20, and normal attack damage 10. Depending on which unit type you'd go with, you're going to have these and you're going to upgrade things. That's going to help your specific unit type. So keep that in mind. Also, um, I made a quick little breakdown to make it simple here. So again, with the archers, um, the longbowmen, they have high attack and they're great for attacking in the wild. Uh, the Chu Konu also have high attack and they're great for garrisoning. This one here has high defense and great survivability. The infantry tectonic knights have high defense and they're really good at garrisons. The ninjas um, have high attack overall and in the wild. Legionaries have really high health, HP, and they're great at running rallies. The Kozak cavalry have really high attack. They're great at attacking and the wild and they have fast movement speed. And the Frankish Paladin have high attack and they get healed more by priests. 
So you kind of just want to go with your play style and the needs of your alliance. So yeah, hopefully this helps. Hopefully you can choose the unit type that works well for you. If you have any questions, message me, leave a comment, hit me on discord. Make sure you subscribe because I'm always dropping new content, tips and tricks, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.